What up everybody, it's iPadBeatMaking.com and today we had a live stream using the Mixbox CS iPad app and we basically did a walkthrough and had the live chat and everything and IK Multimedia even pulled up and answered some questions and gave some suggestions about how to best use the app. So this is going to be a recap of that. It's been edited so that it's formatted a little bit better for the playback. But first of all, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button as well and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, and more. Oh, and before we begin, I recommend you grab some headphones or get in front of some good monitors so that you can really hear all the different elements at work as we're going through the presets. And also be sure to check out the timestamps so that you can get info on your preferred topic or hear what certain instruments sound like through the presets and things like that and with that being said enjoy I mean, this thing sounds nice. It's, it, it, I can just hear the different genres on the same loop with the style of these raps. I apologize for that one. It's a little loud. That is insane. 
This just took an organ. <laughs> it just took a regular piano and really made it sound like an organ. That's nuts. And this, this right here is what I love so much about the LA two-way. So I'm going I'm to go back and just, how do I reset this? Okay. So she's not peaking or nothing like that, but watch the peak. Let me turn her, turn her down for one second. Watch the peak reduction as I run this vocal. This is what I would do in a session is for them crazy highs, I would slam it with the peak reduction. And look how natural the, the LA two-way still is able to maintain it. Just control. And all I need now this is an extreme example. Is to I couldn't wait for it to be finally over. Just full control over the vocal so that it always is in the right place with the mix. And when you have it compressed right, it's so much easier to shape it going forward. It's going to translate. In my experience, it translates really good in different environments from AirPods to the car to the TV. You know, it's just all the places we listen it to music. It doesn't mean that much to me. It's an illusion. I'll be on board the train for the fighting's over now. On a lazy summertime day, where soft winds blow all her fears away, then the dear. Sound of thunder reminds her. Oh, it's just a breath away. On a lazy. That is. Let's let's hear what it sounds. How, is there a way to move it away from not being on the rack? How do I go back to just nothing real quick? Just want to hear how that sounds. Yeah, initialize. Initialize. What did this sound like? Dry. Summer day where soft winds blow all her fears away. Then the distant sound of thunder reminds her. That is insane. On a lazy <laughs> summer 
<laughs> that's insane. That's insane how it's able to transform that performance like that. That's that's crazy. And that's half the battle is having all these presets, right? Now you can just go in and you don't even have to think about it. You just set it in, forget it, and kind of tweak it as you go. Let's see. This is an 80s rap verse. Where soft winds blow all her fears away. Then the distant sound of thunder reminds her, oh, it's just a breath away. On a laser. Yeah, the delays are really nice too. Wow. That's fire. Okay. Not bad for $40. I've I've wasted $40 in wor in worse ways than this. This is insane. BG White says amazing. Jersey Boy Music says reminds me of Slate plugins exactly, but on iOS. Yes, yes. Breakline says game changer. Russ says, not my cup of tea for my mute, not my cup of tea for my music, but nice. BG White says, that's crazy. Bungle Bungle says, would like to hear the tape emulation effect if possible. No problem. What would you like to hear it on? Would you like to hear it on the vocal? Would you like to hear it on an instrument? I'll, I'll go through the different audio demo options we have here. We have bass. We have good. We have drums. We have guitar. We have piano. And we have vocals. So, Bungle Bungle, what would you like to hear that effect on? Or piano. Yeah, Master Bus. Yeah, I have the, I'll try to put it on a Master Bus at a later time. I don't have anything pre-prepared. This is just kind of uh, on plan live. Or piano, guitar, if no full songs. All right, let's cue up tape cassette here. And... So right now it's not engaged and I'm about to engage it. So real quick, Bungle Bungle, as I'm playing this through, you can tell me what knobs you want me to turn and things like that to kind of get a better idea of what it is you're looking to discover with this uh, rack. And I'll just turn the knobs. That's uh, bypassed. I have a feeling with this kind of plugin, this this specific effect, you really hear it after you uh, put it on a lot of individual tracks as a result of the entire mix. This doesn't give me the impression that it's really dramatic on a single source, but when you want to shape a feel of a whole instrumental and you put a little bit of it on each, I think you really start to feel the effect.
Okay, I hear the difference already. That's this is dry right here. So it's still dry. And now at the 10 o'clock setting. Bypassed. Enabled. Wow. Yeah, it, it definitely, I can hear it. It's really pronounced on the drums. That's a good call. That was a very good call. All those hard transients make it easier to hear what's going on. Yeah, you're absolutely right. is disabled or bypassed. Now it's enabled. Bypassed again. Yeah, you're able to really capture vibe and energy, and that's that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Nino Beat says, "I'm buying this ASAP." Thanks, fam. Oh no doubt. Yeah, this is this is nice. Oh, <laughs> I came old time media. Hey, this thing looks nice. That tape cassette is one of our guy Ryan's favorites. What up, IK Multimedia? How are y'all doing? It's nice to have y'all in the building. That guy Smitty says, sounds like a proper tape emulation to me too. I mean, excuse me. Sounds like a proper tape emulation to me. I meant to say, yes, me too. I agree with you all the way. Bungo Bongo says, takes a bit of top end away too. You know, Beat says that vocal chain was crazy. Yes, all the vibes you can capture so easily. This this is going to take Iowa's music production to the stars and back. This is this is crazy. I could see real hit songs. I could before, but now this just took it over the top. Now there's really no excuse. You used to have to be a little bit creative to try to make it work. I think this is just an easy button all the way around. I don't want to butcher your name. It's probably because there's no capitals on YouTube. Jab Jabarin 
Jabar in the Ben Jabar in the Benz. Is that what it is? Jabar in the Benz. I cop this after your first video. Yeah, yeah. It's a must-have situation. What are your thoughts on the $40 price point? You got IK multimedia in the building. Let them know your thoughts on it. How do you feel about it? I feel like $40 is very, very, very nice and fair. I think it's actually a super steal. I feel like they were quite charitable for giving it to us at that price. This thing is pretty incredible, though, overall. And shouts out to IK Multimedia because they've been the trailblazer for mobile music for a long time now. They had the uh, some of the first hardware to really embrace iOS and things like that. And I mean, it's crazy how far, you know, iOS has come now. Now it just works with anything. But that really wasn't the case before. And IK Multimedia was on the front lines really, you know, taking some chances out here to bring us some hardware and equipment that would work with iOS before everything was so neat with the USB-Cs and the, you know, things like that. They, they had some proprietary stuff out the gate. Let's see, 730 Productions LLC says... This just officially made my iPad a mobile production studio standalone. All I need now is a great mic for my iPad and a mic stand. That is a fact. And you can get a really good mic, a good sounding mic for not too much money either. I mean, crazy times we live in. I can multimedia says thanks for the kind words. Absolutely. Well deserved. Thank you for the kind gesture of developing this app for iOS. I know. That probably wasn't an easy decision to decide to let all this go for this price, but we really appreciate it. BG White says, glad I had, glad, excuse me, glad I got it before it goes up. It's worth it. Bungo Bongo says, price is good. That guy Smitty says, great price for the quality and amount of effects you get. Jabari in the bin says, I feel $40 is fair comparison to the other plugins. I came up to many says, I know there is an interest in an iPhone version. I have relayed this to the team, but we don't have current plans for that at this time. There are challenges there. I imagine that's not going to be an easy port, especially with these racks being what they are. I don't know if the solution then becomes limited to less racks, but, you know, how do you really scale that? And then there's so many different phone sizes. Yeah, that could that could get complicated. And then the knobs and things like that that are tactile. How do you figure out how to make those really work on an iPhone? And there's not really mouse support on an iPhone like there is on an iPad. Like right now, I'm using a mouse on this iPad. So when I don't want to touch the screen, I can just do that. iPhone version of this could be tough. I could actually really see a justification for it being iPad only. But it would be nice if we were able to get on an iPhone also. Bongo Bongo says, I use Amplitude all the time. Has the best... Univibe emulation I've ever used. Nino B says, what's a good mic for this app? Um any 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 mic these days, any depends on your application. Is it for vocals? Is it for instrument? Are you, you know, what what would be your application? Love using Echo Opera says, love using this app in AUM for my workflow. Yeah, I gotta check out a lot of what you are running this through because I'm, I'm really fascinated with how you were able to get five instances and things like that and I'm, I'm curious on how your music is going to sound now with this app because I think it just opens up and it's like almost like a new instrument or something it for it gets you in such a new space creatively where you make decisions you might not have made before so I'm gonna definitely check out some of your instrumentals with this app like multimedia says for those who said it's like X plugin on iPad no, we make mix box for Mac and PC. That is a fact. And it is 299 euros last I checked. I think I got that correct. Um, so quite quite a quite a difference. Echo Hopper says just keep it on the iPad. Yeah, that might be the best way to go about it versus trying to take all the resources to develop it for the iPhone. Jabari in the bin says, I want to. See how taxing it is on my processor using several channels to do an actual mix on iOS. I think you're going to be good on a, on a mix. I think the only place you might run into issues is when you're trying to do real-time um, recording, you know, low-latency recording. But I think if you could slam the buffer up to, how does the buffer go up on iOS? Maybe 2048. 
if you can get the buffer up that high, I think you'll be fine. And then the fact is you can, you know, you got eight uh, racks per uh, instance. I think you I think you've got a lot of I think you got a lot of um, a lot of potential there. What iPad are you uh, running Jabari in the bins? I got somebody says, I hope I can afford to get it before the price goes up to normal. I just dropped a grip on Christmas stuff for the wife and kids. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. That would be my only thing is I wish this was uh, announced before Black Friday. But, you know, it's it's definitely it's definitely I'm glad it's here overall. 730 Productions LLC. Watch how many companies now jump on this for iPad. IK just put the stamp on iPad. Yeah. And they've been doing that for a while. They're always early. They're always early. They're always there taking the chance. They're always on the front line. That's why I really like them as a company. When they came out with that Oregon app, it was kind of controversial that it was $100, but I like their stance on it. So I went and bought it. And I don't think I do too much organ based music. Obviously, I'm no pianist or organ player or whatever, but I had to get it just to support the fact that they gave us that pro level organ on iOS. Um, Nino B says, This is just what I need for a great vocal chain. Yep, exactly. Excuse me, exactly. Echo Opera says, for what it's worth, I had 15 effects via five racks running on my iPad Pro 2018 and AUM and CPU was around 70%. Take notes, take notes. That's that's huge. It's a huge accomplishment. Henny will be over this. I think so. Nino beats for vocals. Um... D DM me. We'll we'll talk. We'll talk about some potential setups. I got some ideas for you. Echo Opera says, yeah, it is. Okay. Ripping a hole in fabric of space time with it. Definitely. That guy says, Echo Opera is that guy for throwing down jams in AUM. That is a fact. I can multimedia says on audio bus forms. They have some good experience with the CPU usage with different iPad models. If people want to check there also. It's IK Multimedia. Will it work? Oh, you're asking IK Multimedia. Will it work on the uh, Mac M1 chips? What about checking out some vintage sounding space delay? Okay, tell me what you want, uh, Bungle Bungle. Tell me what you want me to apply that to. What 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 instrument or or um, if you want it to do on a vocal track, and we'll run through some of the uh, some of the delays. Echo Opera says, really looking forward to some custom rack presets for your fans. <laughs> All right. When I get up and running with it, I'll definitely be coming up with some rack presets. I'm going to figure something out. I think, yeah, I'm going to come up with some with some trap with some trap uh, presets. I think that'll really set this off. I can multimedia says, at this time, we don't have news on this and other apps working with M1. We do have Mixbox on i Mac, excuse me on Mac OS already running. I don't want to butcher your name here, Clant Gan Tree Clant. I can't I can't pronounce it. I apologize. Thank you very much for your hard work and your great videos. Your Black Friday videos cost me some money. Keep on making great videos. Cheers, D from Germany. Shouts out to you, D from Germany. I appreciate you uh, checking out the videos. I'm sorry that we cost you so much money. We just wanted to get every possible sale that we could find so that everybody would be well informed going into the Black Friday sales and kind of map out um, some things that were on a list that they wanted a long time ago. Maybe they could take advantage of it on that day. I came out to media says Hammond B3X was made to be authentic. And yes, we realize it may serve really die hard Hammond B3 players and carry a premium price due to that. But we did stand by that and it is a great tool for some. I completely agree with you. That's why I bought it. I liked how y'all stood by that. I liked how bold the move was. I thought it was a show of faith in the platform and faith in the user base that it would be uh, purchased and supported. So I wanted to make sure we were among that, that we're um, kind of trying to encourage you to keep porting those great apps over. And I'm glad you did it with this one. I came on time media. In IK Multimedia, it was really smart of y'all to put these audio demos in here because this just really helps to understand what exactly it's doing. Let's take the tape to set off of this. And let's pick a rack.
so real quick, I came out to media while while I have you in here. These things that are specifically um, sins and inserts, I, I think it, the question probably answers itself, but I just want to be clear when I'm speaking on this in the future. These are intended to be used on a sin channel and then have the channels funneled through that. Is that the idea behind these presets? So they're a little exaggerated and then you can go ahead and control how much um, you want to apply to whatever track through the uh, sin levels within your DAW. Was that the purpose of the sin presets here? I'm not going to lie, I've got Opera. This is really the first time I've opened this app up and actually used it on stand. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, real quick, I want to address what IK uh, Multimedia said in response to my question. It says, yes, basically use inserts where you have the dry signal present and sends 100% wet as sends typically would be used. Okay, that's a, that is so cool. We've got sin presets too. This is this is nuts. Okay, I want to check out this. mathematician but I would guess there's literally probably a billion or a trillion different combinations you can run with something like this eight racks 70 possibilities wet dry all the man you can there's probably a trillion different possibilities you could run with these racks this is nuts See, I was already adjusting it. I, I missed it at Go Opera. I did not. I did not get to save it in, in whatever state it was in when you sent that. Dang, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the settings and see how it all lines up. Inserts and sends were included to make sure we covered every pro set of mixing, sound design, etc. Type of tool set. I came multimedia. Just type that. That that. We are very appreciative of that. It's, it's serious. I did not expect that. I have presets that reflect both the insert and the sin. What up, Mobile Music Pro? How are you doing? What up, Jamie? Welcome back. And I have to say, this is one of the nicest looking products we make. Yeah, I would agree, IK Multimedia. I come back from the, t the original T-Rex days, way, way, way back. This thing is, is gorgeous. This is really nice. Echo Opera says it's so tactile and inviting to use. It really is. It really is. It, it, it's like it inspires creativity within your creativity. The fact that you can really take so many different sounds and make them other sounds, even though they're the same sound, is, is crazy. So what I really liked here, I was playing this piano. And let me go to the different piano settings real quick. Let me initialize this. All right, so that's just it initialized. Real quick, are these... um? 
IK Multimedia or Echo Opera, are the parameters MIDI mappable? The knobs, things like that, all the different parameters of the app, are they MIDI mappable? This is what trips me out. Look at, look at this sound like an organ. This rotary, this is the, um, so the rotary app is mainly the one responsible for uh, making it kind of transform into an organ sound. It's, it's incredible. It's so accurate. You would, you know, if you played it like in an organ style, you really could turn it from a piano to an organ and no one would know it was originally a piano. Okay, Echo Opera says, in AUM they should be answering my MIDI question since they are exposed. So the parameters are exposed in AUM, so you should be able to uh, control them with MIDI or automate them. That's pretty cool. Jamie says, I need to do some videos with this. This would really work well on my channel. I agree. I'd really like to hear what you come up with with it. I think it, I think it would just... It's gonna sound crazy. It's your live playing, running through this. Okay. That guy Smitty says, damn, that rotary is fire. Yeah, nuts, right? I came to media says 2021 should be an amazing year for iOS music and specifically from us too. If this is any indication of things to come. I agree with you 1000%. I think it will be the year of iOS for sure. Echo Opera says, I came out to media. I hope a future update will include the name of the parameter that is loaded. Right now, it's just a generic term parameter. So a bit of struggle to know what knob I am turning. I agree. I agree. Yeah, if we could have those parameters mapped out and be able to control them via MIDI. I can just imagine for live performances and things like that, that would be insane. In Mobile Music Pro, asked IK Multimedia when Amplitude and Sample Tanker come into AUV3. And I came out to media responded, let us get Amplitude 5 out and we'll go from there. And we're pushing both of those internally, so hopefully it won't be too long. Okay, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. That is insane. The vibe just completely changed from that preset. stop shop for all effects 
says Mobile Music Pro. I agree 100%. 7.30 Productions LLC says, Jesus, that is gorgeous. I agree. This is... This is crazy. Let's, let me initialize it again. I mean, it's a, it's a nice riff. I think it would sound good, you know, in a bunch of different tracks, but... set a whole nother vibe when you put that preset on it. Let's see, let's go, let's go for some vocals. I'll let them sing. K Multimedia says there's some Lena nice. Yes, Lena with the vocals. And, and they also say we have some really good go to presets, but try white 2A on some of the other vintage model stuff on and some of the other vintage model stuff on vocals. I've been trying to tell people about this LA 2A. It, it, it's man, whew, it's the way to go, especially on vocals. Absolute go to. Now, I want to say this before anyone who says, feels that way now or watches the playback, the, the little distortion we're getting between trying out the presets, usually you want to stop and then apply the preset and then push play. This isn't about the app's efficiency or things like that. It's just how it goes when you're demoing plugins and not push and stop. This is what tons of plugins do. We deal with this on desktop all the time. So this is not a reflection of the app at all when you hear the distortion between the um, different preset changes going on. Real quick, IK Multimedia, if y'all are still in the building, um, do you know how long the intro price is going to last? Jamie would like to know. We would all like to know. A lot of people are planning their holidays, things like that. So knowing already how long that intro price is going to last would be very helpful to many of us who have to get gifts for other people. And I want y'all to notice how this white 2A is just finding itself on all of these vocal presets, though. It really is, you know, one of the king compressors for vocals, in my opinion. 
So it's really nice to see that the presets incorporate that because I love to see the LA-2A on the chain for vocals, for sure. Even though this is the male EDM setting, I think it sounds pretty good on her. Real quick, I'm just play some. Play this in the background while I go through some of these uh, live chat comments. Echo Opera caught the Octo Pre. Focus right. Congratulations. How are you liking it? Um, <laughs> mixed box or a case of eggnog for Christmas. Is there any doubt? <laughs> I came multimedia says no public no public end date at this time. Though typically when a product is released, there is only a short window for the pricing. I would suggest if interested, jumping in ASAP. So there y'all have it. There is no definitive end date to the sale at this time. That's publicly announced. But if you are interested in this and want to take advantage sooner than later would be ideal for your pockets. Okay, Multimedia also said, oh, Mobile Muse Pro said, yep, 2A for life. No doubt, bro, that is a fact. That's me responding. No doubt, bro, that is a fact. I can multimedia the distortion while switching precepts will mainly happen with chains that use heavier effects like convo room understood definitely it i want i just want everyone to know that that's not a reflection on the app things like that it's normal so don't feel like when you hear it and it, you hear that jump out that that means that the app is doing anything abnormal that's just how it goes i can multimedia says try some of those synth presets on the piano if you have time i definitely have time we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try that out now. Let's see. Let me see if there's a piano that's not as busy. So this is dry, and this is the art filter coming in now. There it is, okay, it's getting synthy. Let's bypass this and see what it sounds like. Now it's enabled again. About to disable.
see a different piano. This one's already kind of got a low fi vibe to it. Okay, that's clean, that's bypassed. Now that doesn't sound like it ever was a piano. This is crazy. This thing will really give you goosebumps. And I can imagine, too, that for a lot of people, they would be taking a like a preset patch that they're going to play um, and applying this before they record it. You know what I mean? And then really building the track around what it sounds like after it's record um, after it's been ran through these racks. This is bypassed. So that's slicing it. So if you played something with a slicer in mind, it definitely give you a really cool vibe. This is this is this is crazy. Real quick, I'm gonna turn this down. I just want to go through the chat real quick. Let's see. 730 Productions LLC says, I'm ready to tell my wife, send me 50 bucks today and I'll give it back tomorrow when I get paid. This here is crazy. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's wifey. She's definitely going to send you the 50 bucks. She understands the mission and IK Multimedia Mix Box is now a part of it, you know? So I'm sure she will definitely support you grabbing this for that $40. Tell her why should it cost you more money later when you can get it for $40 today. I don't want to butcher your name. Is it Emil? Emil or Emil 333 official? That's definitely awesome. AUM is great to work with when it comes to multi-channel. BG White says, I can't wait to play with this when I get off work. I appreciate you and Echo Opera being on and multitasking with your Zoom calls and things like that. Thank you so much for tuning in with us and participating in the stream. Echo Multimedia says, you can go lo-fi with some of the lo-fi presets in the synth category, like the boards of Italy, Italy you are using in others. 
730 Production says, any recommendations on a great mobile interface for the iPad? Uh, what's your budget? I have quite a few. Um, Ikemoto Media says, there's some seriously gnarly lo-fi stuff you can do with Mixbox. Absolutely, I'm, I'm seeing it. This is insane. 730 Production says, whoa. Newbie says, wow. 730 Production says, 80s. Jamie says, amazing. IK Multimedia says, can turn a piano into different styles of e-piano for sure. I, yeah, for sure. Or do that Hornsby type of thing. BG White says, this is going to allow for some seriously unique or signature sound design. That is a fact. You can really shape your own sound with this. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like album ready when I'm hearing these things. I'm like, I can finally completely on an iPad get some of the unique things to build albums and, and not just make beats, you know, and not just kind of do little scratch takes. You could, it feels like you could really sink into an album with these kind of presets and effects and racks and things like that giving you constant inspiration to keep going. You can shape an entire sound of a project with something like this. You can plan it from the beginning that you want it to sound a certain way, and this can capture the vibe. It's pretty crazy. Akimoto Media says, you're hired. Well, DM me. <laughs> Let me know where I need to go. Emil says you can pronounce my name as Emil. Okay. Like Emil says, yes, thanks to everybody in the iPad beat making. It's always hard to find the right time to reach the most people with live stream nowadays. That is a fact. It's very tough. I didn't expect for this one to do quite this well. I just wanted to see what it, you know, kind of sounded like. And I know a lot of people who contemplate and getting it. So I want to give them an opportunity to ask questions and check it out. Does Maine says is Daz Maine says is there a clipper plugin in this bundle echo opera says save those racks 730 production llc says christmas deals are coming no budget up oh, russ is getting one over y'all okay 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 we, we might convert him to the uh mix box after all he initially felt it wasn't necessarily applicable to his workflow and his needs but after hearing some of the presets he's feeling like he might change his mind. He said he just used a vocalist from Fiverr. Yeah, imagine putting her on these presets. That would be a win. It's going to sound pro out the gate. You will really get your five. You will get your $45 worth. You get your $5 worth from the singer, but running them through this app, you're going to get crazy sound. Toss in some fat 808s and crush them. I will do that. I will do that on a, on a legit video. I will put some 808s on this stuff. You know what? I'll go into... See, this isn't an eight oh eight, this is going to ask someone for a bit of money i'm a bit short on cash right now and i can't let this deal go away says emil yes go ask them it's a must-have situation i feel like i'm a qvc host or something right now but this thing is incredible it's really worth jumping on 730 production says i have t-rex on my mac and use that in standalone once i mix in my daw this here just made it even more real away from my computer absolutely Echo Opera says, I can't wait to hear what you do with this and some trap. Yeah, me too. Looking forward to it. No 808s on hand. Forget it. You're fired. Oh, I got plenty of 808s. I invented the 808 engine. We, we, we got plenty of those. I just don't have them queued up, but let's see what we can do. All right. Nothing special, but we'll just start there and... Let's loop that. Actually, let's get the effect on first. 
audio effect. I've never seen what this looks like in Nano Studio. This is going to be interesting. Mix box. Okay. Actually, I think there's an 808 preset already in here. So that's bypassed. That's enabled. Sounds like it's got some SL, SSL compression right there. I guess that's what I'm looking at with this bus comp. Okay, I was a little worried about the scaling in this view, but that's just Nano Studio 2. And when you hit this, now the scaling looks fine. It's a little letterboxed on the side, but that's to be expected. Well, that's a good compliment. Okay. sound through that and let's see so yeah pretty cool pretty pretty cool 808 sounds crazy right now but yeah just just seeing what it sounds like on a couple of them um <laughs> I can do this. Says there you go, redeemed. Okay, I got my job back. Thank you. Echo Opera says this is gonna sound awesome. Thank you, sir. Uh, John Brown says special financing for the iOS music professional. <laughs> Emil says, ha, huh, it's currently an incredible app from what I hear from you now. I can multimedia says thank you iPad beat making. I didn't even know this was happening until I saw the link on a B. So I know. We didn't make you do this, Mr. QVC host. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I got it. I got to do it for the community. This is huge. This is big. This is big news. I think everyone deserves an opportunity to see what's possible and hopefully um, apply this to the workflow. I think it is going to result in a lot better mixes and music overall. Glad you did it. This is a great thank you. This is this is great. Thank you and thanks for all the questions, folks. Thank you, IK Multimedia. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for releasing this. Elko Opera says, sick, thank you. Now modulate that man oh man. I know, right? When I really get the time to just settle with this, it's 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 gonna be crazy. P Bravo says, heading to the app store. P Bravo, I gotta hear what you are able to come up with using this app. I'm 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 knowing you're gonna snap. When I get time, I'm probably come up with some 808 presets and things like that to really um set it off. But that's just running through a couple presets with a random 808 pattern that probably didn't even bounce right yeah mm -mm. so i just only imagine what it's gonna be possible when you really take the time to do it right brian the one hand producer more says and i might buy the mac version for continuity that you know what would be interesting is if you did something say like zim beats right and you use the iPad version of it in Zimbeats, and then you loaded that same session on your Mac, if in fact it would like cross over properly. I know FabFilter plugins do it, I know Tone Boosters plugins do it, but there's certain other plugins that don't actually port properly from one to another when you're opening a session on a multi-platform DAW like a Zimbeats, but I wonder if this one would. That would be really cool actually, you would have no limits. <laughs> you should have a glass with some ice in it when playing that piano. <laughs> P. 
Now, before I get up out of here, is there anything else y'all want to hear? Any other examples, um, effects, uh, sounds you want to hear ran through the rack, anything like that? Ike Multimedia says you can transfer presets from iPad to Mac PC via AirDrop or email, all types, rack, module, song. So that's good news. They do talk to each other, or excuse me, the formats are similar enough to where if you take one, it'll work in the other and things like that. That's going to be very useful. So does anyone else have any questions for IK Multimedia while they're here and you have an opportunity to ask them some things? We know that it's $40. It's 33% off right now. We don't know when that price is going to jump. They're saying you should jump on it sooner than later, though, because it will eventually go up. Their um, presets will work between platforms, between iPad and Mac. You can airdrop them or save them from one to the other. And we do not currently have a window of time for sample tank being AUV3, I believe, but they are definitely working hard on getting some more ports done, it sounds like. And this does not appear to right now um, going to make an App Store appearance in the iPhone App Store. It will be iPad only for the time being. Maybe one day we get a port that's universal or that's for iPhone specifically, but as it stands right now, this is strictly iPad. Echo Opera says, thanks for all the good you do for the community, sir. Hope you have a blessed Christmas and New Year season. Thank you so much, Echo Opera. I appreciate it. I wish the same to you. Thank you for all you do in the community as well. You have some very great videos, very vibey stuff. You really are pushing the envelope on what's possible on iOS music production. So thank you so much, Echo Opera, as well. Jay says, what iPad are you using? This iPad here is a 2018 iPad Pro. I want to say it's the 256 model. Um, Echo Opera says, what other effects in AUV3 are coming from IK Multimedia? Yes, IK Multimedia, if you are able to, can you please let us know what other effects uh, in the AEV3 format are coming? P Bravo says, just bought it, but I need to finish this video first before I dive in. Thanks for demoing. Definitely, bro. I know you're going to come up with some incredible stuff with it. Um, I can't wait to check it out. IK Multimedia says... At Echo Opera, we don't have public announcements, but look for more in 2021. IK Multimedia says, I vote for all of them and can bother the ILS at product manager as much as possible for you. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for really uh, lobbying on our behalf to have some of these incredible apps be on iOS. We need them. Emil says, stay safe and healthy, everyone. You as well. Definitely uh, wash your hands and, you know, respect your local guidelines and blessings to any of those affected by the situation this year. This is a it's been a really nice, you know, um, fourth quarter of the year where we've got these great Black Friday sales. And now we've got this pretty cool stuff. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, uh, the stream if you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow IK Multimedia on their social medias. I think it's just IK Multimedia. It might not be, but check them out. Support them. And definitely follow iPad Beat Making on Twitter and Instagram. And if you're not currently subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest.